Hey there folks, my name is Dazerin and welcome back to Back to the Future. We gotta save Doc! Emmett! Emmett! What? Got anything useful? Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet! Oh! And this portable anti-stick anti-stain formula! Don't! Well, shit. Hang in there! Very funny! Shit, okay. Statue. It's not going anywhere. All right, so what do I got here? My guitar. I can't plug my. Yeah. The expo's already started. Rope. There you go. Climb down that one. Uh, down. Grab his solution stuff. Okay, so grab the spray bottle. This stuff's dangerous. Okay, so the mind map. Helmet. I don't think he needs it now. Yeah, no, I I agree. Um. Okay, Emmett. Hey Emmett, what? I guess he can't hear me from down here. Okay, so let's see here. So I can use the spray bottle on the rope to. Oh. I don't know why I would do it on the this rope. Ah, okay, so now. Whoop. Rope. Can I reach it? I can't grab it from here. Okay. Courthouse doors, go back in. Yep, just take your time, Marty. Just walk. Well done. I wasn't planning on doing anything else. Okay, back down the rope. And now we're gonna swing to the right. Or swing to the left, actually. Or not. Oh, okay, there we go. It's not going anywhere. Get him. Ah, gotcha. Let's get out of here. Okay. Man, they're stuck. Do something before we're crushed. Ah. Okay, hang on. Spray bottle. Pants. What are you doing? Trust me. Hold on. There we go. Climb on down, dude. What did you say your name was again? Marty. Marty? Thanks. Don't mention it. Uh, uh, <sighs> the catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the convertible no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Who cares? My thought exactly. <laughs> Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? Sounds about right. Oh. Oh, boy. Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's Monday terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. I've got about. a bad what? idea. You remind me of someone, someone I used to... <laughs> there, there, my dear, don't worry. I'm sure we'll all turn out well in the end. Maybe for everyone else, but I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Maybe I should get a cat. Oh boy. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long, fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett and his friends. Oh boy. Tell me, how much do you know about Michael Corio? That's not good. Oh, of course. Well, I already have the next episode downloaded, so. So that's good. Guess I'll go jump over into that. Let me explain it again. 
I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the Expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc. Oh, boy. All right. So I will go and jump into episode five, which is the conclusion out of time. Looks like I'm going to be battling against Doc to try and make sure that his future is correct. Oh, boy. Should be interesting. I, as far as my thoughts on this episode, I liked it very much, uh, except for well, uh, that the whole like figuring out where everything needed to go and what I needed to do between the expo and the lab. That was a little convoluted and I just was like, what? What? <laughs> uh, a lot of it made no sense to me. I didn't understand what I was supposed to be doing. So that may have been that I wasn't exploring things well enough and I just kind of resorted to the clues because I just was like, what, where, when? Um, but that, that whole section was a little off, in my opinion. But anyway, other than that, the ending I really liked. I'm a little worried about the next episode, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right, so I'll go jump into episode five. See you guys in just a second. All right, let's go into episode five out of time. Let us jump in and start up. Uh, yes, show goals. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Hey, it's the uh, the train route. Oh, this is uh, wait a minute. He has the train route in his in his lab. Interesting. American psychiatry brainwaves in you. All right. Why are there two of Kid Tannen? I don't know. Anyway. All right. <laughs> what is it with you sleeping that way, Marty? I mean, you slept that way the, in the movie because you had, like, your your strap or whatever that... Hello? Marty! You're awake! Good! Uh, uh, Emmett, uh, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the roof. Okay. Why didn't you wake me up? I tried to give you a nudge before I left, but you were practically comatose. How okay. long has it been since you slept? <laughs> Aside from being knocked unconscious, I'm not really sure. Anyway, I left you back at the lab to perform an important mission. Okay. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. Whoa. I, uh... I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah. yeah. Is that good? Good? It's fantastic! Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll... Damn! What? It's Edna! But... Okay, Emmett. One static accumulator coming up. Alright, let's do this. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, the DeLorean. Shit. Jeez, Ow. Doc, watch out. You almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I I'm fine. Thank you for asking. You fixed the time circuit? So... How are the time circuits? Still broken. I've got a few ideas, but I'm occupied with other problems today. So is that what I'm destined to build for the Expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push and, and some lightning. Fascinating. I also 
had an epiphany last night. Doc? Uh, I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Uh, Doc? It was science. No. Even if you screw up Emmett's chances at the expo, there's no way he'll give up science now. He's too committed. You don't know me like I do. After he fails at the uh, expo, you'll be in need of comfort. And Edna's already arranged a romantic little trip up to the lake. You can't give up science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science. Uh, Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo. His dreams of being a scientist will dip just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Emmett, you can't no. want Emmett back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. Uh, if I don't become a scientist, she'll never get the chance to vent her crazy ambition. My chair is like too far from my desk. You. you haven't thought this through. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No. Ah, oh, damn it. What the hell? Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Here, little static thingy. Come on, come here. Lamp post, get up on the lamp post. Huh. I can't nope. reach it. Huh. Gotcha. Jeez. Get it? We we good? We, we okay? Marty? Uh oh. Huh. That's a is that a Bioshock reference? It should be. There's a shiny new tomorrow on the way. A day of invention is at hand. Oh boy. It's a mystic futuristic wonderland. Just around oh the boy. Bend, friend, you'll see Enlightenment the under the sea. If you nice. Dream and dare to dream, your dreams can all come true. There's a okay. world of wondrous wonder on display. Algae cakes. at all, but I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're all right. not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. Say, don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, there's Emmett's. All right. It's over here. Oh, boy. Right where they're at. And here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective, but you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Corleone. Oh, what are you doing? What's going on here? Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think, uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty. Now. What? Wait a minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't what? be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. Emmett chose his own path. Electrokinetic levitator was Emmett's idea. I just helped. What's your point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Michael Corleone really is. 
and where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Michael? Why don't you call what? him by his real name? Yakov Shmirnov. <laughs> what? what, Doc? An anarchist, a foreign agitator bent on sowing chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo. Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but I really don't have a choice. Very what do you mean you good. don't have a choice? And now, arrest this subversive. Come here. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. Yeah. She's been getting some clout in town ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. Well, if I don't do what uh. she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Well? I'll dig something up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Okay. Brown better... Uh, where is he, anyway? Wait, you haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Uh. Oh, you're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? <laughs> okay, so I gotta find Emmett. And do something about Edna. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see what we can turn up about... Oh, wait, wait. Trixie. Maybe she has something. Hi, Trixie. That's tech -me to you, kiddo. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting yeah. the old job back. Good job. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know? Now, what can I do you for? Um... Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? Nope. Um... Is there anything you can do uh, to get Emmett's booth open again? <sighs> I wish there was, but I'm just a muse. All we can do is inspire people. All right. Inspire me, Muse. Okay, you're a Muse. Can you inspire me an idea? I'll try. All right. Well, maybe it doesn't take effect right away. <laughs> Where's Emmett? Have you seen Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah, he wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face. Yeah. I'll go oh, with something. No. Or something. Oh, Thanks. Doc, Happy you're screwing help. up the time timeline. Oh shit. Oh. Cakes, miracle food from the swamp lid. Get your algae Okay, so cakes. I can't leave. Doesn't look like at least. Arthur. Hey, Artie, what do you think? Quite a setup, huh? The expo? Sure. But I was wondering. Where's Emmett? Have you seen Emmett? He isn't at his booth. Odd. Well, he hasn't left the hall. I would have seen him. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Okay. Can we delay Emmett's demo? Is there demo? Any way you can delay Emmett's demo? He ran into some last minute turbulence. Emmett's already pushed his luck by substituting this electrokinetic whatsis for the mental alignment meter he was supposed to be showing. Okay, I okay, can't all right. alter his place on the roster, too. The board would get the idea I was showing favoritism. All right. Um, all right. See you around. You. How about an algae king? Sure thing, mister. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? I thought you couldn't stand him. Hey, you're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice. Oh, boy. Oh, for the love of no algae cakes for you, buster. Now you remember. You. Excuse me, Mr. Dudu. Jacques Dudu. At your Jacques Dudu. You seen Emmett? I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A distracted look. That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were added into the House of Glass. 
Great, thanks. To the what? Into the okay. Greetings, forward thinkers. Picture of radio. Realm. Information. Information booth. I'm glad Trixie got her old job back. I wonder how she managed it. Okay. Phone booth of the future. Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made Hi. of Atlas glass. Atlas, ah. unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, uh, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. Ah, okay. Soundproof glass. KL4253. Okay, okay. Future of law enforcement. Potted plant. Why would that be there? Why is that that sticks out for A some potted reason? Potted plant. What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plant. What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside. See? If we could have got one of these into Tannen speaking. Yeah. And if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. All right. Okay. So let's see here. So we've got that soundproof phone booth. The number being KL something. Let's look at the clock. Clock. I think that's supposed to be a clock. It's interesting. House of the Future turnstile. Insert ticket to enter. Okay, then fine. There they are. Hey, Emmett, come out of there. Don't listen to him. Is that like Seriously, doesn't that Perfect. mess up the the timeline? Insert ticket. Insert ticket to enter. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta get a ticket somehow. Hey, Artie. Emmett's in the glass Emmett's house. Emmett's in the glass house with Carl Sagan. Then you found him. Oh, good. It's not good. Sagan's gonna make him miss his demo. What are you, his mother? I'm sure he can take care of himself. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, See you around. Fuck. Tell me somebody has a ticket that I can use. Ticket, ticket. Who got the ticket? Hi, you. Hi, Trixie. Now what can I do? Emmett's in the glass house. Trixie, I found Emmett. He's in the glass house with Doc, uh, Carl Sagan. Oh, good. That's nice. We've got to get him out of there. Aren't you being a little dramatic? It's an exhibit, not a prison. Uh, but, uh, uh. How do you get the job back? told me how you managed to get your old job back. He did? But it was supposed to be a secret. There's no secrets between us. He couldn't Wait, resist what? telling such a good story. Yeah? Still, I'd like to hear it again, uh, from your point of view. Uh, he didn't tell you anything. Thanks. Th thanks! He didn't tell you anything. Thanks! Alright. Bathosphere... Enlightenment awaits you. Un Insert ticket to enter. You are going to need a ticket. Can I get a ticket? Enlightenment awaits. Mr. Duto? Oui. Can I get a ride? Can I get a ride in that bathosphere? Certainement. If you've got a ticket. What? Doc Duto, famous diver. So you're some kind of celebrity? I do not like to brag, but uh, I have a small following here. Yeah. Oh, she tough being famous. These people are always bugging you for autographs, huh? Asking you to tell them stories about your adventures and stuff. It gets a bit old, but I can always retreat to the depths. The <laughs> are much less uh, uh, demanding. True. Can I get a ride in that bathosphere? Certainement, if you've got a ticket. Okay, so I gotta get a ticket. Where do I get a ticket? 
Where do I get the ticket? How about an algae king? No, not you. Okay. Maybe Parker can help me. Maybe. Officer Parker? Oh. Hey, Danny, could I have a word with you? Comrade Schmirnov, come to turn yourself in? In private? With pleasure. Okay. I found Emmett. Good. Where is he? He's in the House of Glass with Carl Sagan. Get him over here so he and Edna can clear up their little spat and get out of my hair. Don't you want to go get him? Are either of them committing a crime? W well, no, but... Then it's none of my business. Ugh, okay. Thanks. Right. I'll be back. No, well, I hope so. You've got to get this albatross off my neck. I'll well, do the best I can. Did you to him? Did he confess? Okay. Tickets, yeah. You can acquire tickets at the information booth. Well, yeah, but it didn't now, there pop was something up. Something I wanted to say. What was it? Oh, okay. hi, Trixie. Now what? Tell me about the attractions. Oh, the most popular attractions are the glass house, the future furnishings, and of course, enlightenment under the sea. Right. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself. Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. How do I get tickets? How much are tickets? Aw, put your money away. Here, you're kind of like family now, you know? Aw, thanks. 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 I appreciate that. That was nice. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Wait. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we're going. The Atlas House of Glass, the future of domestic life. Okay, Emmett, let's get you out of here. Emmett, Emmett, don't listen it's to all me. He's soundproof. Crazy. I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas Glass. Unbreakable and, and soundproof. Soundproof glass. Great. Of course. Our space can be configured to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in or slide them out again to create a Okay. Hall. This ought to be interesting. Handle. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go up to this handle. That'll that'll work. Yeah, because there's a space available. Okay. Oh boy, this ought to be interesting. Can I push it further left? Nope, he's pushing it back. Okay, that's not what I wanted you to do, Marty. Okay. So this wall, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so this one won't, oh, now it works. Okay, that makes no sense. Okay, jeez, it's so quiet. That one won't budge, right? Right, because I got to move the yellow one back now. It's so quiet. Oh my God. That's soundproof for you. It's so quiet. Oh, I can just go through here. Hang on. Nope, never mind. That's not what I want to do. I want to do this. No? Something's blocking it. Okay. Hang on. Go back. Um. Push this back. Okay. Don't know if that has anything to do with it. All right, but we'll give it a shot. 
Alright, push that one now. Now this one? There we go. No, you just knocked him out. Damn it. Course. All right. Push this one. Okay. Now this. Where'd they come from? Damn it. Take him now, Doc. Well, damn. That was a fruitless mortals. endeavor. This is Techni, Muse of Progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions mm. right here in the information booth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. So now what? Yeah. No, no. Okay, so let's go in the bathosphere. Here's my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. I don't think so. What do you mean? Doc. I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology. But I fail to understand what you're... Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done Stop! with them? Stop! Help! I'm being attacked! Uh. Michael! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy's obviously uh, confusing. I'll say he is. The one I should toss him out on his ear? That oh, won't boy. be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's Carl Sagan. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't uh... afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the uh, hall. Okay, then. Bad enough to pose an exhibitor, kidnap another exhibitor and stash him away, but to refuse to take a patient's ticket, that's cause for complaint. Alright. Hey, Artie. Uh, aquarium guy won't take my ticket. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure, that's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Yeah, let's do that. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the bath for you. All right. Mon Dieu, what is the matter? The gears, uh, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the bathosphere at this moment. <laughs> what a shame. What a shame indeed. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Later. Come down, please. The bathosphere in Sibyl. Step back! You're gripping the hose! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. Next up on our roster, oh, the boy. man who saw the possibilities in Pond Scum. So basically Welcome now... Oh, Ernest boy. Philpott. So basically now I'm threatening it to kill Doc. It's, it's, it's an old uh, I'm truly honored to be here today, among all you pointy-headed people. 
does if there's somebody inside the bathysphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathysphere. Uh huh. Funny. You'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathysphere. What you are talking about? It's as if you two were connected somehow. Do 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 do. Feel a little. Feel a little. Feeling a little faint there. Raise the bathosphere, Doc. Then neither will I. Hey, sweetened with corn syrup. Drop the act. You ready to drop the act now, Jacques Duteau, aka Carl Sagan, aka. Okay. I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathysphere. Do, 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 do. I wish you would. Why not? There's nobody in the bathysphere, right? I know it's. It gets nowhere until you raise the bathysphere. Emmett? Who? Emmett, you. Okay. You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. Oh boy. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop oh by his booth and sample an algae cake. Oh I boy. Have, and it was very interesting. Huh. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. Okay. Oh, this is going interestingly. All right, and we're going to pause it here because that's the end of the episode. Can I save here? Nope, I can't save right now. Hang on, let's see what happens. So for the years that they have become unstuck. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. Yay. Let's get you out of there. Uh, Emmett Brown? Yep. Then it was true. Hey, you. Yep. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. <laughs> he took his wallet. Oh, remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Yeah. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Yeah. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, yeah. he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. <sighs> it was all very rush-rush. I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where did he go? You know, Carl Sagan, he had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, oh, I know how that is. Yep. Okay. What's this? Oh, yeah. Edna made Detective Parker shut down your booth. He says he can't go against her. Oh, yeah? Unless we dig up some dirt that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Uh, the, 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 oh, boy. So that's what we'll do. All right, so now we'll go ahead and save. And that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys will make this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.